Hey guys, Nanman here with my next StarCraft 2 replay, and this one is actually between OGS MC and EG Idra. This one is actually from the um, MLG Columbus event of 2011. It just happened a little bit ago. This was actually the first match broadcast of the tournament. It was the pool play event. Hello to all my fans. MC doing a nice little shout out. MC actually wasn't supposed to come to the event. For those who didn't know, it was actually Bomber that was supposed to come. And there was some sort of visa issue. So at the last minute, MC was able to come. Um, and MC's the blue Protoss here. He'll be spawning in the bottom right. And over here in the top left, we've got EG Idra, the red... Zerg. Um, now, I'll tell you a little bit about the players. We've got EG Idra. He's probably one of the best foreign players in the entire world. Um, he is on Team Evil Geniuses. I'm, he constantly is placing top in a lot of tournaments. He used to compete over in Korea in the GSL, played in Code S and stuff like that. And now he's back in the States. Um, he won MLG DC last year, just won the IGM Pro League Season 1. And I'm not going to tell you the results of this MLG because, guess what? This is only the first match of the whole tournament. So you will definitely see more casted matches of the tournament by me. Um, and, of course, his opponent. Oh, I like this pool going down, playing it very safe. Um, of course, his opponent here, OGS MC, is the first Protoss to win a GSL and the first player to win two GSL titles. Uh, he has also won a couple of other tournaments, the uh, Star Wars Killer 6 tournament, the one that um, held a lot of really good players. It came down between MC and Love CD, who I believe is a uh, Chinese player. Um, and both of these players are actually going to be at DreamHack Summer, so we should hopefully see a nice little rematch between these two. Um, the map that they're playing on is... Um, MLG Metalopolis, so that means there's only two possible spawn locations they get. Either cross map, which we have right here, or close by air. And both players scouted close by air first and saw nothing, so they were assuming, okay, or not really assuming, they know for a fact that where their opponent is. And there's also this supply depot down here to make sure you can't block off the ramp. And MC's probe got in here and scouted at the beginning and now he's going to get chased away by these two lings. Um, um, Idra made sure to drop down his um, expansion, and it looks like Idra also was able to get in and scout around and see exactly what MC is doing. He sees the two gas, which is probably an indication that he's going to be going for... Um, I would usually go for a Stargate play against Zerg. I like to open up with Stargate play, and with these two gas like this, it is very possible. I like that he's scouting around here, seeing what the Chrono Boost is being spent on, and this sentry is now going to be chasing out this scouting drone, and we can see what other sort of tech plans he's going. With this sentry, though, it's indication that he's most likely going to be expanding this. And nice little micro dance going on here. Um, with how fast that he's attacking, you don't get to see the little beam. Ooh, wow, just ride that drone there. Um, so I like the positioning that the links are out front here, and they're going to poke up here and see if they can see him start to move down. Yep, oh, they're going to get taken out. One lane goes down by the Zealot, and this one's going to actually get away. I don't believe he saw. He saw the pylon go down, so he knows that his indication that he's going to be expanding, especially with the Zealot and the sentries there. It's definitely looking like he's going to be expanding. Um, we've got this Overlord position nice over here, so we can see when he takes his third. I like that he has brought this Ling over to take the Zelnaga. He's probably going to just be darting back and forth through here to see when this expansion goes down. Um, nice. Idra is actually going to be taking his third now. He's like, all right, it looks like you're going to be expanding right now. Your natural looks like it's being taken. And, oh, goes down before getting to see any of the Expo. So he sends out a couple more Lings. I like this a lot. Um, we do have a Roach Warren on the way now. Speed is about to be finished. And he's got a decent amount of drones now. Let's check out the uh, worker count. Yep, 31 drones to 27 probes. So he's starting to pull ahead. And there's the Stargate. 
I like this. Um, two more gates have been added on for this nice little wall. And Ling pops up there, sees everything. And my guess, we'll probably see Void Ray out of MC, maybe even Phoenix. I mean, he, he has been known to favor Void Ray. We'll probably see one Void Ray followed up with like, you know, three or so Phoenix. Um, I'm much more of a fan of going for Phoenix, doing a little harass, poking around, sniping off um, drones, sniping off queens, getting overlords, and they're s nice. Idris doing a great job with his scouting, poking up and seeing exactly what sort of army um, MC's got, if he's, you know, doing any sort of um, cannon placements or anything like that, and there is the Void Ray on the way. Two more gas going down for MC, it is natural. And this Overlord is a decently placed Overlord. I don't know if he's going to move in and go for a um, little um, sacrificial Overlord to get a little bit more scouting information, or if he's just going to keep it here to see. But with the path that this... Oh, I don't think he sees him at all. Nope, he does not see him. But he already has his Evolution Chamber. We've got plus one missile attack on the way. couple roaches are already out. Uh, he can easily drop down a couple spores if he needed to, getting his second gas. And there goes two more spores at the third base. Very nice. Um, he's going to need to bring probably another queen, though, because those spores aren't going to finish in time. And it takes at least two queens to take out one Void Ray. And here comes the second queen from the natural. And MC pulls back, knowing there's way too many queens. Here comes the uh, Phoenix, though. He can start to pick off um, queens, especially right here, where there's moving across no creep. He has been pretty good about the um, creep tumors and, and trying to spread the creep and connect his bases. There he goes, doing a little bit of work, and it looks like Phoenix were bouncing around, trying to see if there's any overlords. MC could probably start clearing out some of these uh, lings at the towers, yep. And boom! One overlord gets sniped out. It's gonna be putting Idra in the red. Yep, there we go. 83 out of 78 supply. A little bit frustrating, but he's doing a good job producing overlords. He's got overlord speed on the way, um, hydralisk range on the way, and has this one queen out here making sure to spread creep tumors. And looks like MC is going to be pushing into the main base, picking off a couple more overlords. MC, ooh, here come the queens out. One overlord goes down, and three queens are coming up. At least one of them has been lifted up. Second, third one has been lifted up, and one. Queen number one goes down. He's going to start focusing down these two queens now. And, ooh, he's got to be careful with that um, Void Ray, though. Queens get lifted up again, and even more Phoenix are being reinforced in here now. And three queens have already been dropped. At least he's got Spore Crawlers to help deal with this. And now he's starting to produce a lot of Hydralis to try to deal with this. But this is actually a really smart plan on MC's part. He knows that he... Hasn't been able to apply any pressure to Idra. Idra was able to get his, his three bases up, and in order to force him to start making units other than just drones, he's going to apply a little bit of pressure with this with the air force that he has. And now we can fly around and continue to have his map control, sniping off overlords. I mean, there's still two on the map, and this Ling is still doing a great job just being able to see exactly when that army is going to move out. Looks like MC is going to be pushing forward, getting ready to take his third base. Yep, he's going to be dropping down pylons now. Uh, Forge, Twilight Council, and Robotics Facility coming down now. So we might start to see a Robotics Bay and start getting Colossus. Um, Idris doing a great job getting his upgrades. we got plus two missile attack on the way. Um, Roach speed on the way. And... Wow, taking his fourth base. This is great job by Idra. He's doing a good job, still spreading creep, dropping down those creep tumors. Oh, this queen's going to get picked off. Boom, 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 boom. Another dead queen. So that's, I mean, that's actually really good on MC's part that he's able to uh, apply this sort of pressure. And, oh, wow. Uh, this overlord might be able to live if he's, yeah, that one's going to sneak away. Oh, this one's not going to sneak away, though. And boom, another Overlord goes down, and that might actually, yep, 39 out of 134 supply. Um, but, I mean, it's really not that bad. He's got six Overlords on the way. We've got um, drops coming down, Ventral Sacks. He already has Overlord Speed, 
So now he's going to go for drops. This should be actually quite interesting. Blink and uh, plus one attack is coming down from MC. We've got an observer coming out. And here's that robotics bay. Uh, doing a nice little wall off with these two more gates and a couple uh, photon cannons here. This third base is about to be finished. Oop! Phoenix getting a little bit too preemptive there, flying over that zone log where the Hydralisk were taking out at least one Phoenix. And at this point, Idra is really just going to be able to sit back, macro up. He's dropping down a spire because he knows, all right, you know that I'm going Hydralisk. You're going to be going a Robo Bay. I don't even need to scout. I don't believe he has scouted recently. No. Uh, but, I mean, that's pretty much the way things work. I go Hydralisk. Well, you're going to have to need some sort of AoE damage to deal with the Hydralisk. Nice. MC's got his observer here. You can see exactly where Idra's moving out, and he can tr start to position his army. But I don't know if he's got enough units to deal with this without the Colossus. Ooh! He's loading up for a major drop, but he MC still sees us with this Overlord. Nice. Moving in with the Stalkers. Getting some good force fields down. And, ooh, amazing force fields out of MC, trapping all of the units down inside. The Phoenix trying to pick off a couple of the Overlords, but at this point, there's the first Colossus, Bob. And all of these Hydralisks are still being siphoned back. All the sentries go down now, and nice flank with the Roaches, but the uh, amount of Hydralisks that are underneath the Overlords are doing so much damage to the Gateway units that MC is going to be pushed back for a moment here. The Colossus did a good amount of damage up on the high ground. Oh, nice. Loading up again. Looks like two of these overlords loaded up with four Hydralis each are going to be going down for the third base. He's going to do a nice little drop here. And another drop here with six overlords going to be dropped in the main. He's forcing it, um, MC to have to split his army to deal with this sort of attack. One gateway goes down. This Colossus is going to get focused down if he's not careful. Oh... 50 health, 32, oh, dead, dead Colossus, now there's nothing but roaches in here, Hydralis are getting cleaned up, nice, loads up, and gets out of there, but he is going to lose one, two overlords, full of roaches, one of them got away safely at least, and the Hydralis were able to take out the, the um, third Nexus, that assimilator is going down, warping in a couple stalkers, but because of how much damage Hydralis do to Stalkers, these aren't going to be enough. At least he has the Photon Cannon there to do a little bit of damage. And cleaned up. This, that was... This is really nice um, drop-oriented harassment-style play from Idra. Keeping MC um, on... He, he really has to be on his toes to deal with all of this. A couple of Roaches here trying to press forward. I like this. Corruptors have been produced already. We've got um, ground carapace, the ground armor for um, Zerg on the way, and MC's pushing out a little bit, trying to take out some overlords. He's got his third back up and running, and ooh, Roach is pushing up again. But with the amount of stalkers and a second reinforcing Colossus, he's going to easily win this battle. Yep, Idris pretty smart, pulls back what he what he can, <coughs> and he's taking another base. He's completely taking his side of the map. This is great decision by Idra. He has good creep spread. All of his bases are almost connected. We do have lings and roaches on the way. A macro hatch in his main. A macro, macro hatch at his natural. I mean, he's got good larva injects, and this is actually looking really bad for MC right now. Let's check out the income real quick. Yeah, 83 drones to 68 probes. I mean, the amount of units... Ooh, charged on the way. I like that. I like that. But, I mean, the amount of units that Idra has and how quickly he can keep reproducing. He's maxed again. He's going to push back out. Goes, all right. Let's see what you can do, MC. MC's going to try to take the gold because he knows he's behind. He's got to try something risky in order to come back. Blinking forward, taking off a couple of those roaches. But, I mean, look at the upgrades. We're at plus two, plus zero, plus two, plus one. Nice job with the Colossus in the back, trying to do serious amount of damage to the Hydralis. But with the Corruptors here, they easily get a single target out, all the Colossus. And that's all he needed to do. He's at 199 supply, maxed again. Just goes, all right, you know what? I'll engage, take out your Colossus, take out a couple Stalkers, back up. You can kill a couple of my guys. I don't care. 
I'm sitting on five bases. What are you sitting at? Three, about to get your fourth. I mean, the main is practically mined out. He's got charge on the way, plus three attack on the way, but no armor. Oh, nice. Pathogen glands going to try to switch to infestor tech. And oh, lots of lings, corruptors, roaches. The entire Zerg force is pressing forward to take out this gold base and all of MC's forces. Colossus have gone down, and now Corrupt going down on all the Blink Stalkers. He blinks back, and, <coughs> sorry, he blinks back, and all of these Roaches doing serious damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold this off. Here come the Lings streaming in, getting a decent amount of surface damage on these front Stalkers. Hydralis bringing up the rear. He's going to try to back up a little bit more. He needs to start blinking up these, nice, blinking the Wounded Stalkers back. Forcing Idra to pull his roaches up to the front. But, I mean, Idra is taking out pylons. He's taking out gateways. And nothing but blink stalkers are being warped in. And here come more reinforcement units from um, Idra. Lots of Hydralisk on the way. MC is doing a good job cleaning up this attack. But with all these reinforcing units, I don't think he's going to be able to survive. The supply is sitting at 91 supply to 180. And here come all these links and Hydralis again. The amount of stalkers. Oop, a couple more getting warped in, but I don't think this is this is gonna be it. Blinking back, nice blink though. The, the um links are trying to get in there. All the links have gone down, but now there's nothing but hydro. Hydros versus gateway units means GG well played out of MC. That was an insane game from Idra. I mean, he just was able to macro up get as many bases as he want kept mc in his base he did mc did a good job with the stargate you know taking out a lot of overlords taking out a lot of queens but that was the only pressure that he applied that whole game let's check out his vision like yeah he got a scout with his little observer saw that i mean yeah but he didn't know this base was up look at i mean he really couldn't apply any pressure to the desert and just was able to have Idra just mass up and do whatever he wanted to. That was really, really well played by Idra, and I I don't know what MC is going to be able to do in order to stop that style. Um, that was game one of the opening tournament of MLG Columbus, like I said. Um, I'll be able to show you guys game two. You can click anywhere on this screen, and it will link you right to that video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to rate subscribe leave comments tell me what i need to work on i'm trying to improve my casting as much as possible um but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next game